So, what do you do with a canoe that's taking up valuable floor space in your garage? Well, you hang it from the ceiling. Welcome to Hacker Week. So we recently got this 14 foot old town canoe that's taken up a lot of space in the garage here on the floor. It needs to hang up from the ceiling. We also got this uh, new dog friend here. We call her Pumpkin. She was a stray. Uh, her owner was really not taking good care of her at all. She's really skinny. So we took her to the vet, helped her out, and we're going to take her to a place where she can get adopted by someone. Uh, a place called Golden Rescue. It's in Raleigh here in North Carolina. She's going to be okay. She's about a 7 to 10 year old dog and she's a sweetheart. Aren't you a pumpkin? Yes. Well, anyway, we're going to hang this canoe from the ceiling right up here in uh, this area. It's going to go pretty much from there to there and I'm going to hang it up on pulleys so we can just put the thing down on the ground, hook up the pulleys, hoist it in the air. The first thing I need to do is get up here and find out where the rafters are because I need to screw a leg a uh, bolt with a hook on it into one of those. So let's do that now. I've got a tape laid out here, 14 feet, right there, straight up. That's the first hook I want to put in. So I've got to get up there and find the, uh, the rafter in the ceiling to screw the hook into. Got the old stud finder. Okay, let's see. This is going to work. This is a popcorn ceiling. Sometimes these are a little tricky to use the stud finder on. And there's always the tap test. Right about there, it sounds like. Let's check the stud finder again. I get a reading there. You see, it gets goofy when it's double beeping like that. It's a false signal. Well, I'm thinking it's about here. So I'll put a mark there with a pencil and um, drill a hole and uh, maybe a couple exploratory holes and find it that way. Safety glasses. This stuff's nasty in the eyeballs. Let's just try right where I put the mark and see what we get. Now there's a stud there. Now let's try about an inch that way. No stud. We'll try about an inch the other way. And there's no stud there, so it looks like I've pretty much got it right in the center. Right there's the edge of it, right there. So that's a good spot. Okay, I'm gonna drill a hole there. Whew. And that hole I drilled is a lot smaller than the lag bolt that's gonna go in there. So here's the lag bolt that I'm gonna put in. I'll run it all the way into here and then I'll stress test it before I hang the canoe on it. This should be okay because this canoe weighs maybe 50 pounds so that would be only 25 pounds hanging on this. So if I can put it in there and put a little weight on it and pull hard and it's not gonna come out, it's gonna be fine for the canoe. Okay, that looks pretty good. Got a little loop of rope here. Let's try a load test. Now I'm not just going to hang freely, I'm going to try to pull myself up off the ladder. That way if anything pulls loose, my feet are still going to land on the ladder. 
I can lift my full weight on that. I weigh about 160. So that hook is going to be just fine for the canoe. This is one of the pulleys. Um, real simple affair. It's got a uh, release pin on it so you can replace the roller if you need to. So this will just hang on the hook. A rope goes through there. One side of it goes down to the canoe. The other side comes down and then it'll go to a, a cleat on the wall. So I'll just go ahead and put these up on the hooks now. These go on the end of the rope on a loop that I've tied in there. So I just clip this on. They're kind of like a carabiner. You can't use them for climbing, of course, but uh, they make for quick release on this. So what I'll do with this now is uh, if this is one of the uh, cross supports there in the canoe, I'll just run this underneath it like that, loop it back up, clip it like that, and then it can lift up the canoe. So here's the cleat, just like on a boat. You just wrap the rope around in a figure eight pattern and you can lock it into place. I'm gonna mount this up right up here with two wood screws. Mount it in a place where it's not gonna obstruct anything with the cabinet doors and I can still have easy access to it. Okay, we'll mount the other one on this end, right here on the side of the cabinet. I don't really have enough area there that I would trust. It might split too easily. If I put it in the side here, I can just catch one of the shelves that's inside the cabinet for a little extra reinforcement. Okay, we're ready to hang a canoe in the air. Okay, the hooks are all up. My lovely assistant is here to help out. We're gonna hang a canoe up. Okay, I want to show you on this side how the cleat tie-off works. So let's zoom in a little on that so you got a better view. Got it. I actually could have put them a little bit closer, I guess, which would be less tension on them. figure eight around it a few times and then the last one on top rotate the loop like that and do a half hitch go around once more do it again that's it you're locked in place there we go up in the air instead of on the floor one thing I am not crazy about I may move uh, this one over that way one stud because uh, when you've got a load like that from the side, it puts a lot more stress on the hook than it normally would because now you're not only pulling down on it, you're pulling that way on it as well. Um, that's a little thing I learned from rock climbing. If you have uh, two anchors, like say there's one here and one here, and you anchor straight across like a T between them, you've actually doubled the load on the two anchors, but the further down like a V that you come, the less load you're putting on those. So I may move that one over to about there somewhere. I think these uh, rafters in the ceiling are 16 inch centers. So other than that, this is a pretty good setup and it gets uh, the canoe up off the floor and allows me to have a lot more space here in the workshop to work on that motorcycle, that ongoing project there. So anyway, uh, 
that's about it for this week. So, until next time.